Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. This is Life Lessons Series 212. We continue to be in a line of um, kind of setting this up for your listening pleasure. And uh, Life Lessons is, is super valuable because they're just little reminders of things that you might want to look at if you're trying to get more out of your daily life. Sometimes that comes around in the way that we want, sometimes it doesn't, but regardless, it can be super valuable in a, um, um, you know, meaningful way. So, so the first thing is understanding that uh, you can reach out through at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of the YouTube page either way and make something good happen from that perspective. Uh, the first thing is stress management. Your stress management level is one of the uh, most important things to, for you to stay focused on, one of the most important things for you to connect with and continue to be in a healthy, decent space. Um, obviously, there are different things that cause different emotions within us, not to say that they're good or bad, they're just emotions are meant to be indicators, and so finding a way to deal with your indicators in a way that makes sense to you is one of the most valuable things you can do. Um, sometimes we don't necessarily know how to deal with certain indicators. Sometimes we don't necessarily know how to connect with a d in a deeper way with the things that matter most to us. But learning how to do that is, is important. It's valuable. It's, it's smart. It's necessary. It's all sorts of fun things. So when we continue to look at emotions as indicators, we manage stress better. It doesn't mean that one... Um, it doesn't in agree that we, it doesn't mean that one thing is better than another. It doesn't mean we're smart and another person's dumb. It doesn't mean anything other than, hey, you got to be smart about how you're handling certain aspects of life and get to a place where your life is more manageable. Next thing to consider is uh, kind of looking at the pattern. Life is all about patterns. How we communicate with people is about patterns. Things that motivate us is about patterns. Things that matter to us is about patterns what we've learned, what we haven't learned, the, the growth, the uh, backtracking, the all of it is pattern based in one form or another. And so beginning to look at life as a series of patterns and identifying the ones we like, killing the ones we don't, modifying things that aren't working to our advantage, accepting that sometimes we outgrow different things and we don't necessarily like those outgrowth moments. All of these things, every single one of them is valuable, is meaningful, is something to pay attention to and needs your attention in a positive way. So beginning to understand how to do that, beginning to understand the ways to, to come forward is important and uh, ultimately needs your attention more often than not. So understanding your patterns and what causes them can help you have a better life. Monitor your level of energy. If there's a certain person, if there's a certain situation, if there's a certain reality that makes you less energetic or more energetic. Pay attention to monitoring your energy in a way that allows you to move forward, that allows you to be graceful with how you handle things and ultimately get to a meaningful long-term solution to the challenges that are presenting in your life. And so Sometimes we need to get rid of certain people in our lives. Sometimes we need to get rid of certain activities or monitor our behaviors differently. Sometimes we need to understand things in a new way. But knowing that there needs to be those changes is also extremely important in, for a number of reasons and in a number of ways. And uh, sometimes people resist the need to look at breaking patterns and identifying patterns because they don't necessarily like what they're going to learn. But the more you kind of stick your head in the sand, the more your life becomes uh, hard and um, ultimately, you know, a challenge in a lot of ways. Um, there are lots of things that we got to look at and make a better, um, better way of kind of balancing things. But knowing how to do that can be difficult for some people. And knowing how to do that can also be overwhelming for some people. In any event, um, another thing to look at in general is the 
level of energy that you're putting into something. Start small, gain momentum, use the fulcrum of momentum to your advantage when trying to make a life change. Don't try and expect yourself to be able to do everything at once because if you do that, you'll eventually burn out. Uh, using small bits of energy is a better way to go about it because you'll gain more momentum in that way. Hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.